In this video training tutorial, I'm going to show you the quickest, easiest way for you to get a, to at least get even with all of your competitors who might be bidding on the same keywords as you, and at the same time, uh, take it a step further to copy the best and then take it a step further. This is going to be a huge shortcut. I'm going to show you a very powerful tool called Keyword Spy. You could also go to Spy Fu. That's another, uh, that's another keyword tool that is very powerful does the same thing that I'm going to show you here so it's just a matter of preference but I highly recommend Keyword Spy it gives you a free membership what I'm about to show you is probably going to blow you away and I don't want to overhype it but at the same time this is really powerful stuff so instead of having to to brainstorm and come up with a whole bunch of keywords to type in keyword after keyword and get back a, a handful of ideas here a handful there why not find out what your competitors are bidding on the best keywords, the most profitable ones, the ones that they bid on month after month after month after having spent all the time, money, and energy to prune their list down to the most profitable ones. Why not take that list and use it as your own and then start writing great ads? And why not copy their ads at the same time? Not copy, but use some of the best features or segments of their ads. So let's go ahead and jump in. I've searched on dog training. Oh, by the way, let me show you. You're limited to 20 results. I'm going to show you how to maximize the 20 results that you get, but you're also going to want to upgrade your membership when you see what this thing actually does. So dog training, back to the example, dog training. Once the search results come up, you can scroll down and you'll see that it lists the competitors in, in terms of which ones they determine to be the most aggressive competitors in this marketing space. And the number one competitor is ems.com. Let me scroll over to show you that it doesn't just cover paid keywords but also organic keywords okay now what I want to do rather than click on IAMS what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the dogtrainingsecret.com because I can look at that screenshot there the URL and I have a feeling that they're selling some sort of information product they're going to be a very aggressive marketer and uh, I can see the number of keywords that they're bidding on is a, is a high number. It's going to give me a nice big list. I mean, just imagine, I, I, if I've got the full paid membership, I'm going to be able to get 3,211 keywords downloading, downloaded into a CSV file and start using that in my own campaign right away. Now. Not hours from now. Right away. Okay, and I can slide over and see that there's 324 organic keywords for which they are ranking very well for. So I'm going to choose I'm going to click on dogtrainingsecret.com and see what comes up for this website so here we go a little bit better screenshot and across the top we have some tabs I'm going to walk you through this so we have an overview we've got total number of keywords we've got um, some of the more popular keywords right here also shows you some competitors in case you want to see that scroll down and you've got ad variations how powerful is this if you're running out of ideas for ads to come up with here's a cheat sheet now I strongly suggest that you don't copy these uh, word for word but you can look at what's working you can swipe some of the headlines you can mix and match you can look at how they're setting up their URL as far as are they capitalizing are they using the www what are they doing and, and sort of get a feel for what your competitors are doing and see if you can top it so let's go to paid keywords now this is where I'll show you how to maximize your your membership your free membership your free trial what you want to do is first of all let me show you you've got the keyword in this column you've got calculated ROI their position competitors in the for, for that keyword estimated clicks per day and calculated price per click so what I would do is I would click on clicks per day and sort this from highest to lowest. This way the 20 results that you're limited to will at least be the 20 most traffic, trafficked, uh, high traffic keywords that you're going to get. So let me scroll over and show you that some of these keywords are just pure gold, stuff that you would not think of right off the bat, or at least I wouldn't. For example, The Dog Whisperer. Well, that's a TV show, I believe, on National Geographic. I, I'm not a fan. I don't watch it. I think I've seen the show one time. But that's a great one. Tons of people are going to be searching for that. So that, that that's a fantastic one. Also, look at these related searches that aren't necessarily what you would think of right off the bat. Dog leashes. Uh, shock collar. Dog barking dog dog urine so the, the, people are searching for for problems so yes 
dog training is the number one search and that's pretty obvious it doesn't take a whole lot of genius it doesn't take an expensive tool to figure that out but to dig for the real gold to come up with 3211 keywords that's where a tool like this really just pays it for itself many times over all right now let's drill down and look at the organic keywords all right for the organic keywords we've got some great ones so tricks, I'm not sure where Sarah Sites plays in, but choke collar, damage, um, hitting your dog. Okay, so another great thing that you can do, I mentioned this before, you can export to Excel, you can export to text. Now, here's another amazing feature of this tool. You can go to, for affiliate keywords. Now, the way that this works is that you actually have to go to ClickBank or Click Commission Junction, link, link Share, find a product that is related to your marketplace somehow, and then get the ClickBank ID or the Commission Junction ID for that product and type that in the search field. And that's how you'll get some information on what the top affiliates that are promoting that product are, are bidding on. What a great way to not just not just go after the keyword list for the competitor for for the merchant, uh, but also the keyword list for or in and the merchant's competitors, but also the keyword list for top affiliates. So this gives you the ability to just shortcut the research in a big way. So let's let's click on the time machine tab. Okay, so this is the uh, quote unquote time machine for the domain dogtrainingsecrets.com where they're showing the performance over time so it really gives you an idea of how a competitor is doing are they is their traffic growing is it shrinking what's going on so it really gives you a great overview of what's going on in the marketplace okay now if you want to find out how a keyword is doing you can go to um, you can go to the keyword list click on dog training and then go over to time machine and this will give you an overview of how this particular keyword is doing over time. And this is the current month. That's why it drops off like a cliff. But it gives you an idea of the trends for the various keywords. So is a keyword getting hotter? Is it cooling off? Is it, is it a reliable keyword that's going to produce traffic month in and month out? This gives you an idea, a very good snapshot of what to expect with your different keywords. So this... I, I mean, I don't know what else what what else you could want as far as a keyword tool. And I'm not saying to just use Keyword Spy or just use this keyword tool. You should use them all. But if you're serious about affiliate marketing, then this is a tool that you definitely need to have in your toolbox. Now, I'll tell you something else. Let's say that you're not going to be spending thousands of dollars a month on uh, PPC, on paid uh, paid search advertising. Um, still, you're going to either be writing blog posts you're, that you want to rank well in the search engines, or you're going to be writing articles that people are going to hopefully find uh, through Google searches. You might be uploading videos. Well, you've got to know what sort of things people are searching on and how to name your videos. Uh, there are so many different... It, it all begins with keywords, because besides email, the core of what people do online with the Internet is search. It all starts with search, so you have to be good at finding keywords. And I'm just I'm telling you, there's no faster way to get a big, robust, not just huge list of keywords, but the best keywords than to do the research by going into something like Keyword Spy and just grabbing the keywords from a top competitor and just, just grabbing this, downloading it into a CSV, uploading it into Google AdWords, and you're off and running or at the very least figuring out which of the top keywords you want to start writing articles about or writing blog posts about so that eventually your website can rank well in the search engines. It all begins with keywords and I think that this is a tool that you definitely need to look at.